longer. This is so very dangerous of me right now. <laughs> I'm about to do something crazy, crazy. I have my hat on because I need to wash my hair. My scalp, so you don't wanna see that. <laughs> Sorry, the TV's like super loud. You you know what it is in this house. Everything's always loud. But I got these shower curtain hooks from Dollar Tree. Where's the actual, oh, here they are. So just a dollar twenty-five and just a dollar twenty-five hooks and I am going to put up this. Where is it? This guy. But not where you might think one should put it. I'm going to put it on my window as the curtains in here. We're going to open it for the first time together. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, I kind of wanted to repurpose a little bit of this packaging for my planner. <laughs> so let's not destroy it. Hopefully. I just ate a piece of pizza, which I'm really not supposed to be eating. Everything makes me sick nowadays too, so I don't know why I do this to myself, but... So... Here she is. So I decided though that I'm gonna put them because they're long. <laughs> they're very long since they're obviously a shower curtain. Um, I'm gonna put them on the outside parts of the window and then have my shorter, obviously my like actual curtains be the middle ones. And I'm not mad about it because it gets really, What the heck? How is this holding on to this thing? What in the world? Okay. This office, I swear, is like the coldest room in this entire house during the winter time. Um, it's probably that way even in the summertime. It's just always freezing in here. It's really weird. I already like winterized winter proofed <sighs> hang on okay sorry about that i had to turn down just a little bit but look at her look at the little kitty okay but so what was i saying it's always cold in here so i feel like the more curtains i have i've already winterized the window so i just i had like an extra shower like one of the sh one of the clear shower curtains laying around from Dollar Tree. I just cut it to size in the window and like taped it around the edges to like block some of the draft that comes in. I just think windows here are very drafty. See, sorry, I just say so. I did that in here mainly because of my plants. That's what I'm most worried about in this room is that this is the first winter that I've had all of my plants in here because I wasn't really allowed to have plants here. But I brought all my. If I don't want them to freeze, and you guys know I have my Venus flytrap, so I don't want him to like completely freeze over. Even though I know they're um, they can withstand some cold, but they're not meant for the cold that happens here on the East Coast, up here, you know. Um, so where was I going with that? <laughs> The more curtains, I guess, in the window is fine because I feel like it's just kind of like more of the draft it's going to be blocking out, if that makes sense. I could be really making that up, but in my mind, it makes sense. So to add just more kind of like thickness to the window, I'm like about. Anyways, here's the shower curtain. Hello, kitty. Here we are, girl. Here she is, Santa kitty. Santa kitty she is and here she is on on here oh and she was she's in the chair but she's covered with everything right now and then on top of that look I started see I started covering the thingy with the paper and then I just didn't finish it before and after here we go here's the before okay so like pretty boring 
Also over there, I still have my, uh, there's a blank like poster board on the wall because I need to do my, what's it called? Vision board for 2024. Um, I'm starting to cut out little papers and stuff for that, like images and figuring out what I want to put on there. So it's blank right now. It's blank right now, but I will be filling it in. I don't know if I should put it on this side or that side. I should put it on this side, right? Does it, it doesn't really matter because I already kind of know that I'm getting a different one <laughs> for Christmas. <laughs> um, so eventually, in a few days here, I'll have another one. And we leave our Christmas decorations up like into January. I'm sorry if you're not into that, but like you can see we, we're so late putting it up too and it's like all that energy and then I'm gonna take it down in five days six days after no oh I kind of wanted to do this side for some reason it doesn't matter <laughs> okay I'm gonna put it right here no I'm gonna put it right I feel like over there the cat it's more likely that the cats will mess with it that's my thought process okay so I really might not be able to film this too much though because I'm gonna have to turn this light off I think because it's like blaring in my eyeballs see how dark it is now oh my god this is so dangerous is my computer off Ow. Ow. That hurt. Oh my god. This thing like electrocuted me a little bit. Ow. That's what that was. <gasps> the thing just electrocuted me. I swear. <gasps> you know how like when you hit that weird spot on your elbow and it like hurts for a second? Am I like too zoomed in? But like and so you get that weird feeling down your arm because you like hit your elbow in like just that weird spot. So I got that feeling in my hand, but it's from grabbing. I was trying to unplug the computer and I grabbed it by like the prongs that are still plugged in. I guess you shouldn't do that. Um, that felt really weird. Okay, but anyways, I wanna unplug and I'm scared. Andre, this is so very dangerous of me right now. Oh no. Uh. Ow, my hand still feels weird. My hand feels really weird. I'll be back. So here's this before. So I'm definitely gonna have to adjust it a little bit. And then like I said, I should be getting another one for the other side, but I won't be getting that until Christmas. Um, but how cute is she? She matches everything. I love it. And I'm gonna have to figure out something because I have it like all scrunched up, which is not good i also need to put like white paper in there to block the stuff out i'm still trying to clean my desk here's some of the stuff that i'm cutting out for my what's it called what is it called vision board so i'm doing like 50 things at once and i'm now sweating and i know that you're gonna say that it's because i'm wearing this hat and this <gasps> barbie hi kitty She's like finally eating again. She like was not eating. Um, but she's eating now. She's feeling so much better. She's like begging for food again, which is more like her. When you mention anything about food, she's like all about it. She wasn't. It was making me a little nervous. <laughs> I just gave her food not too long ago. 
um but she's eating like just a little leftover she's still not fully eating everything out of her bowl but she'll go back to it like a little later okay now i need to clean up my desk again because i just threw everything over it right now though i am drinking out of my duncan cup it's the ag ag1 like that green juice stuff um i shouldn't have eaten that pizza earlier like i said everything lately makes me sick um but also I, when i was editing the other day i realized that i forgot to talk about cheese it going to the er mm. i honestly still can't believe that it happened okay so basically what happened though is cheese it jumped on top of the stove top and we have i'm sorry we have the black top flat whatever it's called electric stove so it's just a flat surface and i was cooking i was cooking one pan okay had my bacon no this pan had my eggs in it and then the other pan and then the other pan next to it had my bacon so i was cooking both at the same time i had bacon sitting on the counter next to me that i was taking out of the pack because i was making all of the bacon so i while it was reached over okay so i've got three sections here happening my bacon on the counter my pan that is on and cooking bacon and then my third one that is cooking my eggs so i'm reached over to this one grabbing bacon out of it this cat jumps up onto the stove at this pan where i'm cooking my eggs okay meanwhile i've got bacon fully in my hand so I can't grab him because I'm covered in bacon grease for my hands, like raw bacon. So the only thing I could really do, I was like kind of like in shock too. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Do you want to say hi to the people? She still has her sweater on, which I think is adorable. And she will not let me take it off, huh? Um, But look, she looks so much better. Do you feel better, Bubby? Are you feeling better, Bubby? Can you tell him you feel better? Do you feel better? Okay. Oh, no, she's going to stay up here. Um, where was I? When he jumped up, and my hands, I was touching raw bacon, so I couldn't grab him. He jumps up. Okay, so he's up there. And all I can do in shock is just like kind of step back and I'm like, do I grab, like, what do I do? Like I like kind of freaked out for a second. Meanwhile, he is up on top of the stovetop with two, been on for at least five to 10 minutes already, elements up on the stove. So they are hot, hot, calientete. He jumps up, realizes that it's hot and then like has to turn around to jump back down. But when he jumps up, he kind of actually slides up onto the stove because it's a flat surface. He kind of slides into the pan that's on the element, gets his feet on the element, realizes it's hot, turns around and then jumps down. And now he's got burnt feet. Okay. But the thing that really got me and like, I, I was, oh my gosh. I was like crying all day about it because right before I started cooking, I was like, I should probably lock these hooligans up. I should probably put them in the bedroom and close the door for their own safety. Right. And I did not Cause I was like, there's no way like I'm cooking. He knows it's hot up here. He's not going to jump up here. Burnt his feet. One foot got burnt worse than the other. And it wasn't bad. They didn't like blister up or anything. Luckily, he moved pretty quick. I'm doing like that because I just, I'm still in shock about it. I, and, oh, what's that? The worst part about it is the fact that he has not learned his lesson. He still jumps up there when it's off and like we're not cooking, but if he smells any type of food, he's just all up on the counter. He's so bad. So now whenever we cook, we have to lock him in the room. Whenever we make his food, we have to lock him in the room. He has no manners, no home training. But yeah, so that's what happened to him. So we had to take him to the pet ER. We took him to a really nice ER place too. They were super nice. I think it was like a newer emergency place or something. It was so clean. Um, 
when we went in there, there was no one else there. And then one person came in behind us like 10 minutes later. And then I think when we were sitting in the room waiting for the actual doctor to come in, they had to come tell us like, oh, we're really sorry. Like it's taking a little bit longer because someone just came in and it's like an actual emergency. Like, <laughs> so we were there. It wasn't too long. Luckily, you know, the vet looked at it and they were like, just keep an eye on it because right now it's not blistering. Um, he was jumping up on stuff. He like jumped up to see out the window door out the door window at the vet's office and when he came down I think that's when he realized his feet hurt because he was like limping after that a little bit but so we got this these ointment wipes that we have to put on his feet and then we're just monitoring his feet to make sure that they don't blister up or turn any crazy colors but so far he's fine they are a little bit pinky white and pink if that makes sense like extra dark pink I don't know how to explain it um but he's fine. He's just as happy as ever, that little cat. So that's what happened with taking Cheese it to the ER. So we've had to take Loki to the ER <laughs> for his nose. We've had to take Cheese. I'm not even gonna jinx it anymore, okay? I'm just not I can't talk about it anymore. Um, where did Barbie just go? But yeah, I realized that I just kind of threw in the clip and I was that was it because I just I was so in shock I couldn't even talk about it let alone go through it <laughs> oh she's going into her little Kate her carrier I'm gonna drink my drink I'm actually gonna take this off I'm gonna hop in the shower at some point tonight because <laughs> I need to wash my hair <sighs> also I want to set up my planners and like plan out <laughs> plan out my planners for 2024 because I'm going to be doing the cash budgeting system for 2024. I'm pretty sure because we um, want to save money. And like everything's so expensive. I know we're all talking about this already. But everything's so expensive. We've really had to cut back on like a lot. And like really watch our spending. And just like we spend like crazy. I mean look at who you're listening to right now. So by we I mean me. So it's more so that I can control myself. I've already been doing really well. I didn't get any of the Starbucks cups from Christmas. <gasps> Not only because of the, what's it called? We're boycotting Starbucks. We're not going to Starbucks, right? But not only because of that, just the prices now, I just, I really cannot justify it. Like I couldn't really justify it before because I was like, this is so dumb. It's just a cup and they're sitting on my wall, but they brought me joy. They brought me a little bit of joy. To get them and my collection's beautiful on my wall and i love getting little keychains you know for christmas time because i like to use them as ornaments but the price of them now no and then so i was saying that i was only going to get them when they're on clearance like super duper clearance but now we're boycotting starbucks anyway right so right right um, so I just, I, I haven't even been paying attention. I think I looked at the, um, releases like one time just to like see, and it was like, oh, they have it like, don't they have like a new design? See, I don't even really know. They have like a new design, don't they? Like a new texture <laughs> to the cup. But so I've been trying to not even look at it because I don't even want to want it. And now the cups are like a bazillion dollars. I do kind of want a Stanley don't, didn't they come out with a red Stanley with Starbucks? I don't know what I'm saying. There isn't just life. What's going There's on here? Also, no, but you could totally use this for like, I don't know. Uh, uh, my first thought was yeah. like an 80. Let me clean up my desk. Or something like it's that. Or like an hour. This is what I have so far. I'm making a DIY. So they're gonna be, they're actually boxes. So the one on the bottom, the one right here on the bottom is actually my hat box that I took down from the decoration like by the door. Um, that was holding up the lamp and everything. And then I just wrapped it with some random wrapping paper that we have. It's looking a little bit um, wedding cake-ish right now because it's all white, but I'm gonna match this top bucket um, and add blue, green, maybe some red. And make it really really colorful colorful so that it's more birthday version but the nice thing about it is that so the bottom one is my hat box and it's full of my stuff 
it's there was just too much in there to take out so it's not gonna be that one i took the poster board i took the poster board from dollar tree and like had to wrap it around this one and so that's why i like cut slits down and folded it all over on the top and just taped it down and don't worry about it i'm gonna fix it and make it look prettier so you can't see all of this it's the same thing with the wrapping paper too i wrapped it around and then cut slits and folded it over to tape it um I can lift this layer and there's space for me to put my gift under there. And then I'm gonna fill this with a gift also. It's just gift cards. So I'm gonna make it look all pretty. So it's definitely not done, but this is the starting point of it. Yeah, my hair is crazy. I had a really hard time find, like going around the house because I was looking for like the perfect cylinder stuff. Um, is that the word? Circular stuff um, to make this. We had nothing. So I'm really lucky to have found, to realize that like I could use my hat box and then the maneuver that I had to do for the second layer, I'll have to show you in a second. Um, and then the top one, at first what I had, it was not, you, you know how you want to have a good amount of layers to the cake, make it look right, right? Yeah. So it's going to be gifts in the two top layers. It's just gift cards. So I show you, it's a more, I was about to say funner. It's a more fun way to get a gift card, right? And it's more interact, like it takes longer to open it. It's not just like, oh, thanks, gift card. Like it's fun. It's nice. It's going to be cute when I'm done with it. But this is what it's looking like so far. Like I said, this was my poster board that I had to cut down. But the funny part is this is too, oh no, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. Hang on. I don't want to destroy it, but if you look in there, it's got the Christmas thing and then it's actually got, I don't know if you can see it. And then on top of it, it also has a pet bowl, like a pet food bowl. I'll show you though. I'll be able to show you better probably after it's opened. Um, I still have to finish that white part back there to just, yeah. It's this little container. Oh, I'm showing you the worst. I don't, I I can't get me like, together right now. But so this blue container from Dollar Tree is what it is. So yeah. Um, I've just been moving. I feel like I've just been throwing my piles around from one section of the room to another and another and another until it's clean. Until I decide to put stuff away. It's just getting moved all over the place. Barbie's in there somewhere. She's sleeping in her little carrier right now. I used the large carrier to bring her here for this purpose specifically so that she had a little hiding spot. And yes, I have more masks back there. You can judge me on it. This is like the first time she's basically finishing off her food in one sitting. Um, I gave her half of a can of kitten food because she hasn't been eating it all in one sitting and she would come back, I think I said this already, like an hour later. But she's basically eating it all. But like I said, it's like, it, that was half of a can. So it was kind of a lot. Barbie, was that so yummy? Was it good? Barbie, where are you going? In your little sweater. Where are you going? Okay. Are you full now? She won't let me take her sweater off. Whenever I grab it and like, act like I'm going to take it off, she cries. She's had this since she was a literal kitten. Okay. Mind you, it was big when she was a kitten, but it still fit her. And it's still fitting her now. She walks weird in it, but goodbye.